Sandra. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me um, vacation look. So basically, get ready with me. I'm in Arizona right now. So I wanted to do like a little tutorial, like get ready with me on how I do my makeup when I'm on vacation. Super fast, super easy. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And then, um, yeah, if you are interested in how I get a vacation look, the one on my thumbnail, just, uh, just, uh, yeah, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. First, um, I'm going to be using a daily moisturizer. This is by Olay. It's a facial moisturizer that has sunscreen in it. This only has SPF 15, but um, I have other sun or other tinted moisturizers that also have SPF. Um, but yeah, this is Sensitive Plus. You can get it at Costco too. It's like super cheap, but yeah. So first I'm going to be moisturizing my face with this Olay moisturizer. Right now we are in Phoenix. Right now we're wrapping up our trip. Tomorrow we're leaving. Um, they actually, we were supposed to leave later during the day or later. Yeah, we were supposed to leave around like one and then get to California around three. But now um, we have to stay here until Five and we're gonna get to California around 7.30, but it's okay. Mm, traveling during the pandemic. Um, there's pros and cons, definitely, traveling in the pandemic. Let me just show you guys what I do and then I'll keep talking. So, I'm gonna be using a eye and lip plumping cream. This is from Glossier. I have like a little link down below to get um, a discount on your product. Definitely, I think traveling, it does make you a little bit tired. Like you're, yeah, you're relaxing, you're on vacation, but then there's so many activities that you go on. Like we did a lot of hiking. Um, we wake up early in the morning to go to drive and stuff. So um, yeah, definitely you get tired from being on vacation you don't really sleep in or at least we don't sleep in because we're trying to get the most out of our day but, um but yeah so let me then i go ahead and i use this sleeping mask when i'm getting ready to do my lipstick my lips are kind of moisturized so i put this on like a little mask before i put my lipstick on Sorry, I have a mess. This is the bag that I use. I also got this from Glossier. It's clear, so it's perfect for traveling on the airplane, especially because when you travel on the airplane, they want you to have a clear bag. So yeah, that I have a clear bag in here, so I keep all my products. So I'm going to be using a primer. This is a Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. Um, my best friend Vidi actually told me about this and it works really really good i mostly use this on my nose and i get a lot of pores right here like i have a lot of blackheads or whiteheads underneath my eyes and i don't know why so yeah i put this around my nose because i get i have a lot of pores right there and then i put this on my t-zone and then on my chin so i do have breakouts right now on my chin i don't know why i always get them kind of sucks so i put it on my chin so i can cover as much as i can so i'm going to be using my favorite tinted moisturizer that i take to me or that i take to every vacation this is like the best tinted moisturizer ever. 
I love it so much. It stays on my face the whole day. It looks natural. It looks glowy. If I could find it. Oh, here it is. As you can see, I'm almost empty. Or it's almost empty. So I use the Lancome Skin Feels Good SPF 23. It's a hydrating skin tint. Healthy glow. I am in the color sand. So, and then I'm using my Morphe Y6 brush. I always use this foundation brush no matter what. It's perfect. I love it. I use it more than a beauty blender. So, let me... What was I saying about traveling? Oh, the airplane. So, the airplane, you have to wear the mask the whole time. Um, I've traveled so far, or I've been on the airplane twice since the pandemic um which is only the month of september like i've only been on the airplane one time i went to la to visit my friend and then arizona so they're really short flights like an hour um and then arizona was like an hour 30 but you have to keep your mask on the whole time um i definitely think southwest is a more efficient when it comes to traveling and the social guidelines like they didn't have the middle seat um when you enter when you board they only have groups of 10 so you feel like you're not really close to everybody um, when i went to american airlines or when i was on american airlines which was this time going to arizona um, there was a middle seat. There was three people to a row. One lady I didn't even know. So it's definitely scary because I didn't know if she had it or not. Um, but you're wearing the mask the whole time. And then um, they board people. They don't have like the whole groups of 10 boarding. Like everyone boards at once. So you definitely just have to like keep your space from the other person or if you're they're not in your group definitely have to just keep your your distance from them um i did have like sanitizer wipes so i sanitized everything um i sanitize my hands um i sanitize like the rests and stuff so yeah i definitely just have to be cautious when flying um the whole time because there was a person like right next to me i was just like kind of like tilted this way so that I wouldn't be like directly next to that person. Um, and then my husband was like right next to me. So yeah, it wasn't that bad. Um, I just got my bags. As soon as the plane landed, I just left and like booked it as fast as I could out of the airport. So yeah, it's definitely, that's the con. The pro is that there's not a lot of people traveling. The lines to TSA. They're not long at all, so you could totally just fly down there or just get checked and then go to your plane so you don't have to show up super early like you did before. Um, let me go ahead and move on to the next one so that the next thing that I do so that this video is not like 10,000 years long. So next I'm going to do my brows actually because I want to, it, it is glowy so I kind of want to let the foundation dry. So I always just do my brows after I do my foundation because I already put the foundation on my forehead. So I am going to be using my favorite brow product, which is a Precisely My Brow. This is my favorite brow product. I feel like it shades or the color is perfect for my eyebrow. Um, this is in the color 3.5. And then, so what I do is I lightly stroke my eyebrows. I don't want to look like my eyebrows are like shaded, like like super shaded. I want them to look as natural as I can. This is like a skin glowy natural makeup tutorial. So what I'm going to be doing is just going to be lightly touching the top and then I'm going to clean it up. So lightly touch the top get the arch and then i'm gonna brush it up brush it up okay so 
to line up my brows i've been using the anastasia um beverly hills concealer i've had this concealer for a really really long time this is um the shade cushis cerns 3.0 um i use it like every time i do my brows because it works so good and, and it has so much product you don't even need that much product so i also have other tutorials on my channel on how i do my brows and i use the same concealer so um i'm gonna be doing this off camera to save time and then um i will be right back so if you are interested in how i do my brows i'll have a um link that you can watch after this video on how to do brows and yeah let me just do these off camera really quick okay so these are my brows i forgot to mention that i'm using the ColourPop e11 brush for my brows um it's just like a straight edge brush i use this brush all the time so next i'm going to be using the 24 hour brow setting gel um, and I am going to just brush these up and get them fluffy. Make them look like they just got threaded. I haven't gotten my eyebrows threaded. I've been plugging them myself because of the pandemic. Everything's closed and I can't get them threaded or I can't get a wax. So I love how this concealer just hides all the little hairs. If you see closely, I have like hairs right there that um that need to get plucked. So when I'm on vacation, I use a lot of cream products um, because I like how my face looks glowy. Um, it looks like I've been, you know, out in the sun. And so what I am going to be using is a cream contour i use this in my other videos as well this is the fenty beauty cream this is in the color macchiato macchiato and i love it it's a cream contour brush so what i'm going to be using that with is actually i totally forgot to do concealer but i'll do that after um, so I use the Beauty Blender to do my con my uh, cream contour. This is a very light cream contour. It's not so heavy. If you watch, you'll see. So I go like this and then I just like rub it on my face. See, it's not like heavy. So I'm just going to be blending that with the Beauty Blender. I like to blend it right here inside of my cheekbones and i leave this cheek see how it's like highlighted i leave it and then i kind of just rub it all over my cheek so a con is that many places are closed right now because of the pandemic like we wanted to go to antelope antelope canyon to do the tour but it was closed um so that's a con but a pro is that well, another con is that you could possibly get the virus, um, but if you're like a little rebel like me, you risk getting the virus, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, the only bad thing was getting on the airplane, but other than that, we were practicing social distancing. We wore a mask. Um, we were hiking, so we were outdoors away from everybody. Another pro is that there's not that many people traveling right now. So um, if you want to go places that are really popular, like one of the hikes that we went to is called Devil's Bridge. And I read on Yelp that it was actually so hard to find a parking spot. Like the hike took a long time. There's this place that you stand on the bridge to get a picture and that takes two hours. So definitely traveling during the pandemic, like it's not the best thing that you want to do. Um, but it is a pro when you when there's not that many people traveling and you get to basically have 
the whole place to yourself or less people so that's definitely a pro and yeah so next i'm going to be doing my concealer and i actually have a new concealer beauty blender for this um so i use a nars radiant creamy concealer this is in the color macadamia so yeah i'm just rubbing in my concealer i don't put that much concealer on my face okay so i my camera my camera was gonna die or it died so i just went to go um, curl my hair. This is what I do to my hair for vacation. If you back up. if you guys want a tutorial on how I do my hair um, like this, I have a damn it. I have a video um, that I would link down below on how to get this um, vacation or this like curly hair. Put on my NARS creamy radiant concealer i put it on right here um and then i put some on my below my chin because i have breakouts right here so what i like to do as well is i like to like put this on the line of my lips so that my lips can appear bigger So I want my lips to appear bigger and then um, I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my blush. So what I've been using for blush is the Cream um, Fenty Beauty Blush in Petal Poppin. It's poppin'. It is poppin'. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. I just like dab it in, smile, put some on the cheeks just to give me that cute rosy look. Yeah, I dab it in, dab, 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 and then you can kind of tell this has a little bit more color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's just like a little bit more pinkier than the other cheek so dab 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 oh there you can tell right here i forgot to contour my nose so basically what i do to contour my nose and i'm using the same cream fenty beauty and i don't really like do a lot i kind of just grab my index or my finger and then i like go on on like I rub it and then I just draw a line to my nose and then I do the other side so it's not like super accurate and then I kind of just like rub it in And then I go in with my beauty blender and kind of just like do the edges. And yeah, that's basically what I do. So if you want like a more defined um, nose contour, then of course you can use a brush and then you can use concealer yada 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 but i just want there to be like a little shadow on my nose and then i use some of the products some of the cream um contour to put on my eyes because i'm not gonna wear any eyeshadow and no mascara so yeah i just use a little bit of the cream to kind of like use as eyeshadow so next, I am going to be 
using my highlighter and I know you guys know what highlighter I'm about to use because I use it in every single video and I cannot switch my highlighter like this is my favorite highlighter and I know it was a collab so I don't think they have it anymore but I don't know another highlighter that is similar to this highlighter so if you guys know of a highlighter that's similar to this please let me know because I am literally like hitting pan already and it's gonna be a sad day when I run out of this highlighter because I don't know what I'm gonna use as a highlighter but I'm basically gonna go in with my morphe y11 brush and then just Wrench myself in this highlighter and then I'm gonna highlight a little cupid's bow I like highlighting my cupid's bow because then you can see the line you can see that line and then it's easier when you lip line your lips which I am gonna be doing okay so yeah, that's basically it um i have this little eye i had eyelash extensions but i actually took them all out so if you see these it's because um they're like left over from my eyelash extensions oops so yeah this is basically the look then i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and um i am using the rare beauty new rare beauty lipsticks um in fearless um i am going to be doing a review on the rare beauty collection i'm just waiting for a couple of things um that i had and then um or that i got in and um i'll do that review for you guys but yeah um i am going to be using the lip liner in nude one and I'm gonna lip line my lips for you guys can see the lip liner and then so I like the lipsticks um, from rare beauty they're really nice at first I didn't like it because I put it on without the lip liner and I feel like you would need a lip liner if you're gonna be using these lipsticks They're really smooth and um, they feel really nice on the lips. Really hydrating on the lips. So I really like that. And um, the color looks kind of like nude and but pinky um, raspberry and it smells pretty good too. Yeah, they smell pretty good. I don't know what they smell like, but they smell pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is basically my look then I'm gonna spump up the hair a bit and just go out like this if you want to curl your lashes or like add falsies on you can do that but I just like going out like this because I look glowy like natural but still a little bit of glam so yeah this is basically the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me in phoenix um if you have any other questions about traveling or um if you have any questions on like itineraries for phoenix let me know down below i'll also have a vlog of phoenix going up i'm not sure if i'm gonna do this video first or like edit the phoenix vlog but i'll have that up for you guys um too and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little uh getaway makeup tutorial and thumbs up the video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye